We are here at the Enterprise Data Center slash Supercomputer Lab at AMD's Sunnyvale headquarters, where they have got the definition of an all-hands-on-deck project going on here. They've flown in their techs and partners from around the world. Even Mark Hirsch, corporate vice president of Radeon Technologies Group, is getting in on the action, planning the power runs for one of the most exceptional supercomputer systems ever created. When it's full of 20 servers, this single rack is going to be capable of one petaflop of full precision performance. And AMD estimates, it's an estimate, they're not done building it yet, that they'll be doing this at around half the cost of a competing solution, not to mention more than double the flops per watt. And how are they doing such a thing? Well, as crazy as it might sound, AMD is actually letting me assemble one of the systems. So, uh, whoa, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how. Synergy allows you to share your mouse and keyboard between multiple computers at once. Check it out now at the link in the video description. So pretty much everything you guys see in this room arrived about 12 hours ago at 3.46 in the morning from AMD partners like Inventec, Samsung, and Mellanox and has been undergoing assembly and testing nonstop since then so it can be unveiled at SIGGRAPH in less than a week. So this video is as much a behind the scenes look at the hard work that goes into the glitzy, polished show demonstrations as it is about this system. Who am I kidding? We're here for the beastly hardware. So this in front of me is what AMD and Inventec are calling the P47. And it's this that allows them to cram up to 640 CPU cores, that's 1,280 threads if you prefer, up to 40 terabytes of memory and up to 80 Radeon Instinct Vega GPUs into a single rack with some room for high-speed networking like InfiniBand. At a total of about 35 thousand watts of power consumption this is about as power dense as you would want to go with air cooling using a rear door cooling system like what we saw at the sfu supercomputer recently so let's take a closer look at it at the front you've got some storage bays like you'd expect to find on a server though i don't think amd or inventec is expecting anybody to use these for more than just like a basic scratch disk and then on the back is the reason for it because that's where the 100 gigabit InfiniBand connections go that handle job sharing between servers as well as access to high-speed dedicated storage machines that are elsewhere on the network. Moving inside at the heart of every P47 is the brand new AMD EPIC server processor. This one is 32 cores on a single CPU with a 180 watt TDP. 32 cores at 180 watts. But that's actually not the whole story behind what gives P47 its stunning efficiency. Each Epic can handle up to two terabytes of DDR4 memory running in an eight channel configuration at speeds of up to 2666 megahertz. So that's great for virtualization, uh, rendering, and machine intelligence. Our machines have 512 gigs of RAM each, but, and this is the key, each Epic can also handle 128 PCI Express lanes. 128 lanes. So that's why a single Epic can be hooked up to up to six or even seven GPUs with a full 
PCIe 16X Gen 3 interface dedicated to everyone without a need for a second processor or a PLX chip. And that's with plenty of bandwidth left over for high-speed NVMe storage or high-speed networking. And all of that's critical because the real star of the show today is the Radeon Instinct MI25 based on AMD's Vega architecture. These puppies right here are actually responsible for the bulk of that petaflop of processing power. Every MI25 is a full fat Vega consuming 300 watts, actually similar to the Frontier Edition that already exists and the RX Vega that's coming soon. But unlike those, it lacks video outputs entirely and a fan, since it was designed to be installed in specialized machines like this one where the cooling is integrated. And this is sick, the entire 16 gigs of HBM2 memory can be accessed by another device on the PCI Express bus. This allows high-speed communication between discrete Radeon Instinct MI25s or even other PCI Express devices that are connected to the system, like even an NVMe storage device. And this is without a proprietary connection like NVLink. And all this high-speed communication enabled by Epic, which you can kind of think of as both a CPU and the world's biggest PCI Express switch is at the core of a new open source architecture that AMD is championing called Rockham. In a nutshell, the idea is that every part of an all AMD server system is linked at extreme speeds in a non-proprietary manner. So the user can customize and scale up their supercomputer as they see fit. Want more performance? Just add more racks. And while $50,000 might seem like a lot for a P47, when you consider that AMD's initial estimates put them comfortably in a position to claim better performance per dollar for modern workloads like financial modeling, climate science, and AI, not to mention better performance per watt, you can see where their confidence about uh, really shaking up the top 100 supercomputer list comes from. And I wish them the absolute best of luck. Do you have two computers for some reason? Maybe one of them's PC and one of them's Mac or Linux or whatever. Well, Synergy lets you solve the problem of having separate keyboards and mice for them once and for all. You can share one mouse and one keyboard between two or even more computers, so you'll never get confused again. They've got basic and pro options for Synergy with a one-time payment, and features include things like clipboard sharing between the computers, dragging and dropping files between the computers, the ability to set up hotkeys, and more. Use our link in the video description and get 50% off Synergy today. So thanks for checking out our video here at AMD Supercomputer Lab. And uh, if you guys dislike this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there, we've got a link to our t-shirt store, which has cool shirts like this one, as well as our community forum, where you can go and talk about all the cool stuff you saw today.